Hey, what's up guys? John here and i uh, glad to be here. Appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share. And on this one, I'm just going to be talking about uh, guide dogs in general and uh, kind of, you know, uh, a little bit about me getting a guide dog. And then I'm also going to talk about, you know, the responsibility and also the privilege um, of having a guide dog. Uh, before I get started, please bear with me. Uh, these last few days, I have been a little hoarse, um, just from doing uh, different speeches and all that stuff. Um, so bear with me. But I do got, <clears throat> I do got a drink with me. So um, I really hate doing videos when I when I don't sound that good. But I guess it could be worse, right? So. Just bear with me and uh, we'll get through this video. Um, I guess the first thing I'm going to talk about is just the, you know, the the change that, that I had myself when I got a guide dog. Um, and I've had a guide dog for uh, a little while now. I'm, I mean, I'm roughly guessing here about five or six, maybe six years. Um. But before I got a guide dog, I, I won, I had a cane, but then of course, I ended up getting married, and and of course I got married way before I got my guide dog, um, right, so, um, but I had a cane, and I used it every now and then after I got married, and then I started, I started doing something that really, uh, you shouldn't do. I mean, you should either use a cane or a guide dog, right? And I ended up started to where we would go to to stores and whatnot, and I would just grab a hold of uh, my wife's shoulder, going in stores, or we'd go to you know wherever we went. I started, and, and it turned into a really bad habit of mine of just grabbing on somebody else, depending on them instead of depending on myself, and eventually. Because I don't want to, you know, take up this whole video with just that part of the story. Eventually, I got I got tired of that and realized that I don't like doing this. I mean, I wanted to be able to go in stores and do what I want. Walk where I want. Look at my own things. You know, I didn't want to have to always rely on holding on to somebody to look around at the store. And plus, I really didn't enjoy going into certain departments when we're in the store <laughs> you know um i don't want to hang out in the ladies you know clothing and stuff like that uh, but anyway i was like you know i gotta do something i gotta make a change and so i started i started looking online for you know ways that i uh could contact about you know getting a guide dog and I went to a page and it listed every single guide dog school that there was. Well, the other thing was I didn't want to go far from home. I didn't want to be too far away from home because my son at the time was going through his first phase of uh, dealing with asthma and all that. And I didn't want to be far away if something happened. Um, so I came across Pilot. And before... I uh, really decided to go there. I did my research. Um, I talked to the employees at Pilot and all that stuff. And so, long story short, I signed up and I was I was head of the Pilot within just a few weeks later. Um, a really nice guy, Steve, came up and saw me. We did a walk around the little town that I lived in at the time. Which was really little, guys. I'm talking little enough to where it wasn't even... They didn't have a grocery store. They had one post office. That was it. Um, which was outside of... Uh, up near Perrysburg, Ohio, right? Um, anyways, I went down there and I got my guide dog. And uh, and I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about Pilot here in just a little bit. But I got my guide dog and... Everything changed. I mean, everything. My freedom. And when I talk about freedom, I'm talking about being able to go where you want. 
and do what you want without having to wait on somebody to help you get around. Because, you know, uh, having a guide dog, all that is gone. All right, you no longer have to let somebody guide you around and all this stuff. And obviously, you don't want to um, take your dog to certain places, like, you know, festivals and stuff. It can get kind of hectic, so I never do that, but we won't get into that on this video. Um, so, everything changed. My freedom, the the just being able to, to do whatever I wanted to do or go where I needed to go was just, you know, just a life-changing experience, guys. If you've never had a guide dog and you're considering it, you really should get one. You know, um, just because you, you'll be able to do so much and you'll feel so much better having a guide dog and being able to, you know, walk down the street by yourself and walk through stores by yourself and go through the mall by yourself and you know, get through airports by yourself and ride buses by yourself and all this stuff. And some would say, well, I can do that with a cane. Yeah, I guess you can. But there's still a big difference in having a cane and having a guide dog. Because one, a cane's not going to take you to a set of escalators. A cane's not going to get you to steps going up or down a cane's not going to stop you at the curb you know so there's a lot of things that is really different and some people just are used to having canes and and there's no harm done you know if you're comfortable with that you know that's and that makes you happy then that's fine and let me uh get another drink here um so when I did that, my life changed all for the better. It really did. I had a, Not only did I have that freedom, but I had a best friend. I had all these, these things that I could do now. And I had, you know, like I said, a best friend that will always be there to help you. No matter what, you know, uh. The relationship that you build between you and your dog is just amazing. And after about six months of having a dog, sometimes a year, you really, really build this one-on-one -on -one, uh, relationship and bonding between you and the guide dog and the dog and you that there is no other like it. You know what I mean? There's, There's... The dog learns every move you make. The dog, you learn every move that dog makes. That dog learns every reaction that you make. You know, and there's just, there's no better thing ever, guys. It's, it's an amazing, amazing thing. Um, I've got a friend that, and, and I'm, I'm working on helping her out, getting, getting something uh, started as soon as possible. Um... A friend of mine, one of my best friends, his uh, his daughter is wanting a guide dog. And I think she's 12, around in there, 11, 12, something like that. Um, and again, I don't know exactly what all the requirements are going to be for her. But um, she's wanting one because she has seen me with the guide dog. And, you know, and, and I think it's really awesome that she looks up to me in that, in that way to see what I was able to do. I mean, I could, I could walk down to their house when I used to live by them. I'd walk down there with my guide dog and we'd go out walking and we'd go, you know, um, just being outside, hanging out, you know, like even, you know, if you go to like, say a birthday party or something and you take your guide dog, you don't got to worry about, you know, feeling nervous about being, you know, in someone's big yard and not knowing where everything is when you got a guide dog. You know, you can walk around all them obstacles and everything. So, um, so yeah, that's another good thing is people, people will turn to you for advice that might be wanting a guide dog. You know, there, there's a lot of, a, a lot of quality things that happens after you get a guide dog. So, 
just think about that. And, you know, also, if you're going to get a guide dog, make sure you really want it. You know, make sure that you really want it in here to change your life. And I'm going to get into some things about uh, that I've, I've, I've seen um, from other people in the past that they, that they have put their dogs through. And I'll talk about that here in a minute. Um, but make sure you want it. And make sure it's something you really want. Don't, don't waste your time. Don't waste the dog's time. And don't waste the school's time. If you want a dog, be ready. Want it. And go get it. Something else. If you're going to get a guide dog, don't rely on these up here. And I'm pointing to my eyes just in case you didn't see me. Don't rely on your eyes. That's that's something that you, you know, if, if you can't see that good or you can't see it all, there's no reason to rely on it. There's no reason to rely on something that's that's not there. Um, when I went to Pilot, there was someone that went there, and you know, you're when you when you first go there, um, they'll walk with you and stuff like this. But what happened was, this gentleman was instead of trusting his dog, he was continuing to use his eyes. And unfortunately, he didn't get a guide dog. Because if you can't trust your dog, and you can't, and, and I know in the beginning it's going to be, you might be a little nervous about it, but I promise you, as soon as you get rid of that being nervous and not showing the dog that you trust it, once you get rid of that, it's, it's really, really awesome, guys. But you got to trust the dog. You got to trust the dog to do its job, because it will. It knows how to do its job. All right. Um, the most it's going to be is is you just working with the dog and the dog learning you, and you learn about you know how the dog is. Um, does guide dogs make mistakes? Of course. That's why you're taught how to correct them. Do they make anything any drastic mistakes? No. I've never seen my, my dog ever make a drastic mistake, okay? Um, but, like I said, just make sure you want it. You got to want it. And if you want it, then your life is going to change for the better, I promise you. Um, there's going to be no other experience like it ever in your life. I, I went for a long time, didn't have a guide dog, and I got one, and that guide dog changed my life. Some people might kind of tilt their heads at that, but it did. Guide dog changed my life because I could do anything. I could travel. I never, ever, ever traveled on my own the way I did when I got a guide dog. I mean, I flew out to Vancouver, Washington. I flew to Florida. You know, I, I flew to, you know, uh, Seattle, Washington. I've been all over. Michigan, Chicago, Kentucky, Tennessee. You know, I've been all, to all these different places uh, with the work I do. And it was able to be done without me having to worry about anything because I had a guide dog. I didn't have to worry about walking out into, you know, running into stuff or not being able to find my way. All right. So just keep that, you know, keep that in your in your head and remember all the privileges that you're going to have. All right. All right. So the next thing is I'm going to talk about this and then I'm going to talk about schools in general. All right. The next thing is the responsibility. All right. It is a big responsibility. You got to take your dog to relieve them. You got to feed your dog. You got to brush your dog. You got to take care of your dog in all different aspects. Um, doing checkups with your dog, bathing your dog, all these things. <clears throat> so, and the school don't do it for you. <clears throat> you know what I mean? 
They're not going to be like, yeah, when you're ready to bath your dog, bring it back. No. Or when your dog needs shots, bring it here, we'll take care of it. No. <laughs> They're not going to do that. They're not going to come knocking on your door and say, hey, is it time to brush your dog yet? <laughs> you know? You got to do that stuff yourself. It's a lot of fun. And it's also another way to bond with your dog. Even just brushing your dog. You know what I mean? Um, so, you know, just remember that. There's responsibility behind it. The next thing that really, really, um, it aggravated me. I mean, I, I was going to bed at night. I was so aggravated. I even called and uh, spoke to the right people because of the situation. I knew somebody. They had a dog. And they entirely, completely neglected it. I don't mean by abusing it. But mentally, neglected their dog. They used their dog for about six months. And then, when they decided to move out of their mom's, their parents' house, the dog became a family dog. Okay? They left the dog there. And went on with their life. Guys, don't do that. Don't ever do that. Ever. Ever would I ever do that to my dog. You got your dog for a reason. To help you. And that dog loves nothing more but to go and work. They love walking. They love going in stores. They love doing all that stuff. They love it. They love it. You know, it's not like uh, when the dog's working that you're, you know, all oh, this is mean and all this stuff. It's not mean. The dogs love it. It's no different than having your, I mean, well, it is different, but it's like, you know, having a, another dog as your family dog and the kids play with it and all this. They love that stuff. All right, you got a guide dog for a reason to help you, and they love working. So, don't do that. Don't ever get a dog and then when you decide that, oh, I'm just, I'm tired of doing this. I'm tired of taking care of this dog. I don't want to do it no more. I can't do it. I'm stressed out. Yada, 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 blah, 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 blah. Right? That's garbage. If that's what you're going to do, you call the school and you take your dog back. Because somebody else could use that dog. Don't matter if you, well, you can't love the dog, because if you love the dog, you wouldn't do it to begin with. So really, there's no excuse for it. And not any school at all will tolerate that. They find out that that's what's going on, bye-bye doggy, right? So don't do that. Work your dog. I'll give you a prime example. And it doesn't matter the situation you're in. You can always still work your dog. Alright? I lived in an area that had no sidewalks. It was a very unsafe area to be out walking alone. Alright? But I didn't have a choice at the time. But I didn't stop working my dog. You know why? Because every time I would go somewhere, even to the store for a gallon of milk, my dog was going to work. And because I couldn't do that, you know, I, I couldn't get out every day with the dog in that area, you go somewhere else. Take your dog somewhere else, even just to get out and walk with your dog. You know what I mean? That's all you got to do. So don't never, ever, ever do that, guys. Ever. One, it makes you look like a horrible person. Two, it... Think how your dog feels. I mean, how would you feel if, you know, if, if uh, all of a sudden you was with somebody for a year and they decided they don't want you no more? So they're just going to leave you hanging. You know, dogs have feelings too. All right, it's just not cool. Um, and most people don't do that. 90% of people don't do that. But I wanted to share that story because I just 
wanted to make a, a prime example of what not to do, right? All right, so let's move on. Let's talk about reputation with schools and rumors. What's a good school and what's not a good school? Every school has people that talk about them. That's just the way it is. There's been people that ask me, uh, where'd you get your dog? I said, pilot. Oh, no, no, no. I've, I've heard things about that place and blah, blah, blah. Guys, you hear about it everywhere. I've heard things about other schools. Leader Dog and... Uh, I don't even know the names of all of them, but... Uh, I've heard stuff about the one in Michigan, the one in California, the one in Florida. They all got rumors. Where would I recommend going to get a guide dog? Pilot. Absolutely pilot. They go out of their way to make you, one, feel at home, and two, to make sure that you're comfortable in, in the setting that you're in. They don't just grab you up and put you with 10 other people and start walking you. All right, the trainers are really good. And every time I had a trainer, it was always a very awesome experience. Um, I had, like I said, I had Steve come, and come out the first time and walk with me and stuff. And then when I went, I had the best trainer ever. Absolutely the best. And that's, uh, yeah, Bonnie, I'm giving you thumbs up because you're, you're a very, very kind person. You're, you're very soft hearted and you go out of your way to help people to make sure that that dog is doing exactly what it should be doing and to make sure that you're comfortable with that dog. You know, um, just a very awesome, awesome trainer. And there's nothing that I'm not saying the other trainers aren't, you know, no good either. They are. Um, and the, you know, there's there's several trainers there. Um, I always got to work with Bonnie and I had to go back just because, not because anything I did or what my dog did, um, but a situation. And I'll share that story with you real quick. Um, and then I'll go ahead and end this video. Um, but let me finish here first. Every school is going to have talk about them, guys. So don't let don't let rumors hold you back from going somewhere. Um, and again, I would suggest going to Pilot. If you need information about the Pilot School, you can go to uh, the Blind Community webpage. There is a link on there uh, with Pilot uh, Pilot Dog. Click on that and take you to their web page. All right. Um, if that link is not there, it's because the update is taking place, but it should be. It depends on when you are watching this video. All right. Um, so, you know, check it out. Go to that link. Check out the school. And then contact them. Get you an app going. Get you a guide dog. If you've never had one, get you a guide dog. If you want that freedom, get you a guide dog. If you want that huge change in your life to be able to do more in your life and go more places on your own, get a guide dog. Because, again, no, I'm not saying nothing bad about people that choose to keep a cane, but a cane can't do all that for you. A guide dog can, you know. And the other cool thing is, you know, when you're traveling now, you don't, you don't have just a cane. You do got, you know, you got a partner you can talk to and all that. And it makes it, it makes traveling so much easier, too. It makes it more uh, more comfortable for you because you got someone there with you, you know. So, check out Pilot Dogs. And, yes, Pilot, I'm giving you thumbs up 100%. Uh, from a 1 to a 10, 1 being the worst and 10 being the best, I give Pilot an 11, all right. Good food, good rooms, good everything. All right, so um, I'm just kind of going through my mind here, making sure I've covered everything. Uh, yeah, so my first guide dog, 
I miss her dearly. She was she was everything to me. And it, guys, it was the hardest thing ever. And, and I st I still get a little emotional over him. Hopefully, I don't in this video. But I had to let her go. Um, because of a situation. If I could see her again, I'd give anything in the world to see her again. Just to pet her one more time, right? Anyways, I went out to, I went to a different state, and um, she, there was dogs where I, I walked by this place every day, and there was other dogs tormenting and stuff, <clears throat> and it got unfortunate that it got to where she, she was, not able to be around any other dog at all. She'd want to just start barking and growling and jumping, and it just wouldn't stop. I did everything to try to fix it. Sometimes you can't. So if you're running a situation, don't always try to do it yourself. Contact the school. Um, I went back to the school, and we even tried to work on her a little bit. But it didn't work. So I had to let her go. Um, she did get retired and got adopted to a, a good family. I mean, I don't know the information because they don't give that to you. The only way that you can ever get in touch with a, a dog like that is if that person decides they want to communicate with you, you know. Um, so, yeah, very, uh, very unfortunate. But then, you know, I, I got uh, the guy that I got now, I love her to death. And I, I wouldn't trade her for the world. She does a great job. She's a good dog, and everybody else loves her too, you know, family and friends, and every time I talk to my friends that are, <clears throat> that don't live around here, they always oh, yeah, ask, how's she doing? Tell them, she's good, she's good. So just remember what I said, guys, all right? If you never had a guide dog, think about the freedom that you're going to have and the changes it's going to make in your life. Um, if you did have a guide dog and for some reason you don't have one now, you know, um, like I said, I suggest going to pilot because they, they go out of their way to work with you and make sure that they give you the best of training <clears throat> with you and your dog. All right. Hopefully this video was helpful to you. Subscribe, like, share. Uh, one of these days I plan on making a trip to see uh, the people up at Pilot. Maybe I'll record that and do a video on that later. All right, I do a lot of different videos. You'll see videos with me doing stuff like this. You'll see videos with me doing stuff about the work I do. You'll see videos of me doing just miscellaneous stuff. Because that's what I want to do. I just do, you know, all different types of videos. I like doing it. I enjoy it. I even did a video on working on cars. <laughs> so, anyways, guys, I appreciate you. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share. All right? And remember, if you want a guide dog... There's only one school you can pick that's going to give you what you need. That's Pilot. You guys take care. Bye-bye.